could. You know, oh, oh, Rosa. My. Oh my God, Carmine. Am I ruining this? Am I ruining you? You are. Rosa! You are. I'll let you have this moment. Turn I'll let you have this moment. Oh my God, I miss oh. you so much. God, you got even prettier and younger. So did you. You look so I, hot and refreshed. I all of the um, the Botox. You know. Oh my God, oh my you God. look so fucking good. Baby. We got a talk, just, girl. So hard. Really? I've been so alone. I've been in my apartment. Oh. I don't have money for electricity. It's been so <gasps> cold. Me neither. God. They turned off my water. I have to bathe in the ocean. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Well, at least you look good. Like you're like glowing. Thanks. I'm pregnant. Do you need help with that? Because like I can push you down the stairs. I'm just kidding. I said that for attention. Oh, okay, good, good. You know, I'll I've done that many times. He will too. try to claim it. Oh God. You know, I okay. ran into him like a month really? ago. Uh huh. And what the happened? first words out of his mouth were accusing me of cheating, and I said, "Motherfucker, we were done a long time ago." Yeah, you're not even fucking together, and <laughs> he has and a I can new a girl and on whoever now. I want to. Of course he does. Of mm -hmm. course he does. Well, I broke my car, but let's go like across the street and have a little dramatic moment. Yeah, what's been going on? Oh God, men, men is what's been going on, Rosa. Well, isn't that the root of all of our problems? Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I I think I made the right decision. Let's. Okay. Uh, should we go on top or like under? We can go. I don't know if we can go up there. Let's okay. go down here in a dark corner. Good, because that's how life is right now. A dark corner. Sometimes it'd be like that. <sighs> you look so hot. hot. Oh my God. I feel really hot. I've been like exfoliating and, and spray tanning, you know? I figure if you I'm going to be alone, good. I might as well be hot. Literally, if you're going to be alone, might as well be the sexiest possible version of yourself. Exactly. Duh. I've been selling feet pics. Oh my god. You have always really have like really hot feet. I know. I've been like stretching on my arches and <gasps> taking care of them, like, giving Ooh, pedicures. I switched oh from god. white toenails to a French and ugh, it Ooh, does really well. What? Okay, oh anyways. My god. Well, um lay it on me. I gave Mr. K my key to the house back, and I pretty much said I wasn't really gonna be around Grove anymore <gasps> what happened uh i mean it was kind of a buildup of like a lot of bullshit going on day after day and time after fucking time and you know the nail in the coffin for me was uh i just felt like outside of you know Vinny, rami and k no one really had my fucking back and mm. i didn't really feel that kind of connection with them. And I figured there's no use for me to stick around somewhere where I'm not as wanted. Okay, I'm gonna say a lot of things and some might hurt your feelings, but some is uh, is gonna be nice, okay? okay? I'm gonna start with hurting your feelings I, first. Okay, I need to hear it. I fucking it. told you so, okay? I, know. I fucking told you so, I did, I did. I, I said at the end of the day, those men care about me, myself, and I. They do not care mm -hmm. about us. And you know, yeah. maybe maybe they do. Maybe in some weird, convoluted way they do. Especially Mr. K and Rami. I think they probably do care about you. But I when push comes do, yeah. to shove, I think we operate on a higher level of emotional intelligence than them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you're feeling something, they don't feel it with you. And that really fucking sucks. But that doesn't mean that feelings aren't valid. That whatever is going on doesn't mean that you can't feel those things. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't go to them for any type of support with that. And that is a lesson that I had to learn. It's a lesson I think a lot of people have to learn. But, you know, they care in their own way, which is a weird, convoluted way. But beyond yeah. that, Carmi, I've known you outside of CG. Like, as long as I've known you, you've been around them. But you have always been that bitch. You don't need them. You've never needed them. You've been able Thank to operate you. completely on your own without the support of anybody for so long, which fucking sucks. Don't get me, don't get me wrong doesn't feel good to have to be on your own, but sometimes it's for the best. Sometimes you grow the most when you let go of whatever's holding you down, you know? You're right. And honestly, that is how I feel. I mean, I, I told Kate it had nothing to do with him or anything like that. You know, I know 
at any point he would have had my back and all that but i don't want to be a burden and have all of my problems become his problems exactly but when i am going through something i would like to you know be able to turn to someone in the gang that's awake at the same time and you know hopefully get some support from them but exactly that is what i wasn't getting and you know zolo well, and tugs were the oh. fucking like nail in the coffin for oh, me oh oh i fucking wonder that's the mm -hmm. reason that you know i everything happened with me was fucking zolo and tugs really oh my god oh, yeah I i'll mean, be honest i, I have the worst memory so ever i don't really remember tugs or but zolo doing shit they but exasperate yeah. everything they literally yeah. will take like two percent of whatever you say and then twist it into some crazy fucking story that never happened and you look like the bad guy yeah yeah ah, i'm so over them that is exactly what zolo did to me now that you like say it like that like tugs he was just being a dumb fuck like i will give him tugs the benefit like of the doubt child, you know yeah i will give him the benefit of the doubt that he is just like a dumb teenager and he probably didn't realize how serious i was feeling in the moment but zolo i'm sorry but you can tell when i'm in like a serious mood and i'm hurt by something and to just continuously rub it in my face and try to make things worse that was a nail in the fucking coffin for me because what do you mean like i'm literally pouring my heart out to you and just begging for someone to listen and you can't mm -hmm. even do that you just have to turn it or around and laugh he'll sit there and listen and pretend like he's listening and be like oh yeah like i got you rosa like yeah what, was, what did you always say like I don't, I don't know. know that he would help i got, and I got you, you bro no matter you. what yeah. and fucking and then never he calls he runs off to a little corner or hops in his car and says oh i gotta go and then calls whoever he possibly can to be the guy with the information he's always been like that yeah he likes to be the yeah. one like oh carmela's going through shit let's talk about it you know oh my god you're so right mm -hmm. I, I talked to aria about it a little bit and she was like that's definitely how zolo and a lot of like the newer members are like they don't give a fuck about anyone other than Kay. They don't give yep. two fucks. As long as they're like up Kay's asshole, they don't give and a shit about anyone else. And the craziest part is Kay doesn't even give a fuck. That's what I had to learn is yeah. half the time Zola was like, go talk to Kay, go talk to Kay, tell him everything, tell him everything. And when I would do that, Kay was like, okay, you can handle your own problems. Like he believed mm -hmm. in us that we didn't need handholding, you know? Yeah. But everyone else gets into your head of like, oh, I have to, I have to make this a big thing. And then they fucking stab you in the back when you turn around. Mm -hmm. Just for a quick laugh. Mm. yeah zolo i mean i never told Kay what was going on because again i didn't want to be a burden but pigeon and aria kind of told me that i should tell him just so that he kind of knows what goes on when he's not oh, around yeah. or whatever but i don't know i don't want to come off and be like hi mr k this is carmela and i'm making a formal crew member complaint yeah. that this is how well, everyone acts when you're not around like i just well, feel like that's like, lame in as theory, fuck in theory it's it's all great like you talk to k and you know you tell him what's going on and k understands he's a he's a great listener when it happens yeah. but then everybody else talks about it 12 times over and people get sick of it Nobody yeah wants to hear about it yeah and then it but goes it's not their place to be talking about it Ugh, fucking zolo he puts he has stayed putting his nose in women's business I stabbed him I so can. long ago for it, and I think he's due for another sick and poke. For all, I fucking stabbed him because he wasn't listening. Like, I was literally going through so much bullshit. I don't know if you know Raymond, but we were in, like, a huge fight, and Tugs was switching up, and Taco was switching up, and everyone was just, like, you know, taking her side over mine without even hearing me out. And I'm trying to, like, tell him about it, and I'm saying all this shit, and he's just like, oh, well, you know, she's nice to me. So I just, I started mm -hmm. to walk away and he's like, oh my God, stop. You're being so dramatic. Blah, blah, blah. Oh so my I fucking God. stabbed him and I don't give a fuck. And then he was telling everyone that he's going to like shoot me or something like that, which he still hasn't done. Like, bitch, yeah, get the gun. Air. He's all hot air. He is. Like, uh, he can he still has try. His moments of being, he has his very few moments of being like a decent friend or brother, whatever you want to call him. Uh -huh. But then the other 95% of the time is just making your life a living hell. You know, and he stays like that. He's never been a friend to me. I'll be honest. He is too never, busy and ever. And I've tried. I like I feel like I'm kind of nice. Now but... that I think about it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. No, you have it, nothing. It really. No, I'm sorry that. 
that you have to go through that. Cause like feeling like an outsider with a group that's supposed to be your family. Um, I know that feeling and it is not fun. And you have to sit there and remind yourself that you're not an outsider. You do belong, that people mm -hmm. care about you. But you know, man, loneliness really fucking sucks. It does. And you know what fucking hurts like, the most? Which I, <gasps> arf, arf, arf. I love when you bark for me. I'm just in so much pain right now. I, arf. <laughs> I, I don't know even know if I can say it, but Raymond checked up on me and made sure that I was okay and told me how important and how powerful I am before Zolo or fucking Tugs even answered any of my messages. Like, that is so sick and twisted. Her and I literally were in like a screaming fight, Rosa, like full on, like hate each other, like this and that. And she still called me to say like, I hope you're okay. I don't want you feeling completely alone. And if you need a place to stay, like I got you. And I was like, what the fuck? Like this woman that I don't even know that well is giving me all of this more kindness than the people that I've known forever. I, I Jeez. Just, gosh. And, the, and, and Zolo and Tugs probably think like, everything's fine, you know? Yeah, I tried to call Tugs today to try to, um, I wanted to give him a little bit of tough love and say like, listen, what you did really fucking hurt me. And I hope for, you know, the benefit of everyone else in the crew that you never make anyone feel like that again. But the second I called him, he just hung up the phone. So that, that hmm. didn't feel too good, but what can you do? Well, fuck them, honestly. That's yeah. one of my approach to everything is if people aren't going to treat me like a human or part of a family or care about me in any type of way, they're not family to me. Yeah. Because there are people that care about you that would do anything for exactly. you, you know? Exactly. And that's pretty much what I said to Kate, too. I was like, listen, this has nothing to do with you. I will always care about you. I always have your fucking back, but I can't be around these, like, motherfuckers that aren't there for yeah. me, you know? Step on your throat for a five minute laugh. Yeah, and I don't know. It seems like everyone just is over it. Nothing's really changed, I guess. What are you, what are your plans? Well, I want to get back to doing some heists. I really need to make a lot of fucking money. And I guess I just want to. Find a place where I fit in. Mm. What are your plans? Girl, I ain't got nothing to lose or gain here. Along for the ride. Okay. I think I have some, you know, if I run into Zola or Tugs, I, I think I have some things to say to them. But... Ooh. Pretend I'm Zolo. Hold on, let me. I'm Zolo. He'd say, oh, Shorty Rosa. Oh, my. Whatever he would say. Ooh, you're a baddie. I would ask him if he's still fucking bouncing and clapping for five seconds of attention. Oh. If he's ever stood up on his own. Ooh. If he's still standing on the necks of other people to have his 20 seconds of infamy. Oh. That man needs to get his fucking head on straight. He has lost it. He has been reprimanded so many times. Mm -hmm. He has been mm -hmm. told he needs to settle the fuck down and he just doesn't listen. Yep. Oh my oh, fucking I'm God. So, I'm so over him. And he thinks he's big and bad because he writes a little song, but. We can all write a little song, you know? Yeah. Sure, he's musically talented, but he's fucking... He's not friendshiply you know talented. I think. Fuck Vinny part two, but fuck Zolo this time. <laughs> I would, but honestly, he's not worth any fucking energy also, like that. Also, think about the shit that he said to Mateo, who was supposed to be his best friend in the entire world. I will never... Even if that's 10 years ago at this point. Mm -hmm. what the shit he, he said to Mateo all the time was horrible. He would make fun of him. He would make him like get out of the car. He would like really? stab him and shoot him all the time. Yeah. And he gets he fucking to, like, like pissed, pissed off. When I... What? Oh yeah. All the time. He used when to I do that? Him, he, what? Yes. When I first met him, he had his little <laughs> gang. I forget what they were called. And Zoe was like the leader of them. Oh my and they, God, They Zoe! would get raided all the time and get in all this trouble. And he would always fucking blame Mateo, <laughs> even if it was Zolo being an idiot. Yeah. And then when Zoe went to CG and Mateo, like, 
I forget what happened, but like Zoe, I don't think Zoe got a chain, but Zoe had some kind of standing over Mateo where it's okay. like. And he just rubbed that Zolo in his did face. not let him forget it. Every single day was like, I'm your OG. Like, what I outrank you, fuck? know your fucking place. And I was like, I wouldn't treat anybody like that, let alone someone I'm friends with. That's the thing. Someone like, that's like been a ride or die for him for so long, years. Mr. K is the fucking leader and he doesn't talk to anybody like that. Exactly. Anybody at all. Like, how the fuck does he have the audacity to talk like that? And I'm sorry, but Zolo's fucking OG of nothing. He's the OG of fucking burgers. I don't know. OG of mid music. Just kidding. I like his music, but mid music. He does have good music, and I fucking hate the fact that it's good, but mid music. Oh, no. <laughs> Failed relationships. OG of that. Oh, <gasps> true. How many oh fucking. God, do you remember when he was, he was trying so hard with Brooklyn, and Brooklyn did not want him? Yeah. That was fucking crazy. Oh my God. God. Holy shit. I think he needs to be humbled. Yeah. I feel like me, you, Aria, Paris, and Bobby are kind of like in our own mindset or like, I guess, genre, if that makes sense, of where, you know, you know we're not like bouncing and clapping, but also oh. like if someone's in trouble, we will protect whoever yeah, like we the ride for the people that care about us. I think that's and that's especially I've always considered you part of like our little ex Voldemort gang name <laughs> crew, you know, <laughs> because you've always been there. You've Aww. been real. Like we have always operated under the if we're in a gang or not, like I consider them and you my family. And no matter the shit that happens, like we all go through shit. You, me, Paris, Aria, Bobby, like we all fight. Yeah, but exactly. at the end of the day, those are the people I ride for and I know have my back. And that extends to other people that treat us well. I mean, that's exactly the point that I was trying to make. Like, yes, fights happen, but when no one will fucking listen to you, no one will fucking pick up the phone. I didn't even tell you what actually happened, but the thing that really like, you know, drove like me to fucking insanity was I was actually here, you know, at the, the burger shot or whatever. And the manor fucking rolled up on me. They robbed me, called me a stupid bitch, said fuck Women's Month, all that shit. And I was calling Tugs over and over again to be like, hello, like, I need help. This just happened, da 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 da, da. And he just never answered. I sent him, like, 20 texts in a row. Yeah. Never answered, kept hanging up the phone. He was twatting out, wouldn't fucking answer anything. And he just didn't care. And, you know... Having war flashbacks. I just wanted someone to listen. And... Sure, Carmela, I like... really fucking hate that you're going through this, but if anyone knows the feeling, it's me. Yeah, I know. And like a water under the bridge, but you did that to me too, you know, and it really fucking sucks. But it does get better. It does. Because you look at people and you're like, that's... People live and learn and they realize that, you know, I fucked oh. up. Arr, 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 arr. What do you have to learn from that? But on the flip side, people shouldn't treat their friends like that, period. Yeah. Tug should have answered. If he wants to call himself your friend or your brother or whatever, yeah, he needs to learn that he can't pick and choose when he cares. That's not caring about people. Well, thank you for forgiving me. And thank you for well, talking I'm me. also sorry for the hateful things I said forever ago. You know, we're Listen, mature women now. We are. Age. We're in our 30s, Rosa. Oh my God. Ah! Ever repeat that, we can't be in our 30s. <laughs> We're mature women, and someone's gonna try to make that us was just kids. You know, oh god! Oh, oh goodness! No, but everyone, you know, it happens. Shit happens, and it really, really sucks to be alone. But sometimes being alone is is when you learn the most about yourself. That's true. You know, I actually don't mind being alone that much. I feel like you know, I've I've been a alone for a long time he's and... open like nobody's business when you are not tied down yeah i'm telling you and also even when i was rolling with everyone it's not like anyone fucking called me anyways so girl you probably do more heists without them funny you say that i actually got called for a heist today so i'm waiting Ooh, to hear about that what i are might you doing i might get to rob the laundromat whatever the fuck oh, that means a lot. oh i don't know maybe i'm gonna steal some dirty socks or something like that oh well um <laughs> I'm happy you have an opportunity, but that's fucking disgusting. I know. It's kind of gross. I'm going to get someone's granny panties, some used boxers, something. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, Ugh. I'll make a little bit of money. 
Well, I'm always here. Well, I'm here when I'm here, you know, but if yeah. you ever need anything, especially today, just give me a call and I'll be there. Hey, Rosa. Oh my God, Carmela. Well, what happened? So I just went down to grocery to leave a little warming present for Vinny and his, his new missus, you uh -huh. know, just a nice little note and maybe some blood and whatnot. Okay. Um, but I run into Zolo and I was like, oh, Zolo, Lord. hey, I heard you've been really fucking shitty to people. Mm -hmm. And he was like, what are you talking about, Rosa? And I was like, well, I heard you said some fucked up things to Carmela. Mm -hmm. And he then launches into, yeah, well, you know, I was trying to talk to her and she stabbed me because I said I liked Ray. That's not what happened. I, well, and I, of course, I, I know that didn't happen. So I was like, OK, well, I'm going to tell you some things that probably aren't nice to hear. And he was like, I was like, you know, sometimes you involve yourself in business. That's not your business. <gasps> And sometimes you say, I was like, even if you go in with good intentions, you say one bad thing and that's all people fucking remember. Exactly. And what did he and say? And he was like, well, I'm so sick of everyone. Even if I'm not involved in the situation, everyone blames me. It's always fuck so, always fuck so. And I was like, I wonder oh my why. fucking God. But yeah. And then no Tugs and, and Kay and Rami ran by me and didn't, I don't think they recognized me. But yeah, no oh. remorse does not care. He essentially was like, everyone blames me for all their problems, even when I'm not involved and da 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 da. I wonder yeah. fucking why. I literally wonder why. He said one time that. Hey there. Hey. Let me just check in my record. <laughs> all right. Who? What? Who's this? Wait, are you at the courthouse? No, no, no. I'm, so... I'm in the south side. Are you kidnapping me? No. Hey, where are you, you're Carmela? Good, Zoe. The um, at Wait, the courthouse. Really? Yeah, you're Yeah, good. can I get a ride to the courthouse? Okay, I'll be there soon. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.